Hi, my name is Marin, and welcome to my channel, Marin Makes It. Today, I have a super cool DIY video for you. We're gonna be doing a how to make a jellyfish costume using absolutely no store-bought materials. I thought this would be a super fun challenge for Halloween this year. My Halloween is going to be celebrated over Zoom, so really you're limited to what you can see in the top of the frame of the camera. And I decided to challenge myself to see if I could do this without going out and buying any new materials. I do have some crafting stuff on hand just because I've done other crafts. I'm also gonna see what I just have around the house to see if I can use some of those um, household objects in a creative way. So let's see how this goes. All right, so my first step was trying to figure out how to make the top of the jellyfish, like the head, I guess, the little blobby on the top. And I realized I have this metal bowl and it is the pretty much the exact right size for my head. So stage one is going to be covering this bowl with plastic wrap. All right, so we need to mix some more um, paste up, which is the paste that we use with the newspaper. So you want your newspaper, I just ripped it into little strips. Also, you want the edges to be kind of these rough edges, not like these smooth edges like this. That's what you don't want. So you could tear that to make a hard edge. Um, and then your last coat, you're gonna be doing um, actually like white printer paper because that way it gives you a, um, a better colored background for painting or whatever you're gonna do next because you don't want the newspaper to show through. The paste in paper mache is actually uh, flour and water. So we're doing half cup of flour, half cup of water, um, and then we're gonna do just like a little shake of this. So I'm just using this here because supposedly it helps against mold. So my friend challenged me to make a Halloween costume with only stuff I already had in my house, which is good because I want to be on budget anyway. We're just doing our little party with my friends over FaceTime, so didn't really want to break the bank. Anyway, so this is what the paste is looking like here. So I did end up adding a little bit more water. So yeah, I'm just kind of soaking them right here for a sec before I put them on the, uh, on the bowl. Um, so this is what it looks like when I put it on the bowl. And you can do about two to three layers before you have to let it dry again. So it's been a few hours and uh, I've done a few layers now on this. So we can take this off of the bowl now and that will allow it to dry from both sides. And actually this is coming out pretty nicely. So now I'm gonna carefully pull this out. I can tell it's like a teeny bit damp in here. So now that it kind of has a structure, air can, can dry it from both sides. So yeah, I've done, I've done probably about three or four um, sessions of putting on layers on this before I did this step. I have been using a fan to help dry this faster. Now I can just go ahead and uh, do another layer. So I'll check back in with you guys when this is done. So now we're gonna be doing a layer with just white paper strips. So I'm actually using printer paper for this and I will uh, keep you updated when I am done with two or three layers of this. All right, so while I'm waiting for um, some of that paper mache to dry again, I am trying to think of ways to make the tentacles out of stuff that I already have. So I'm thinking that we can start with this plastic bag. This is just like one of those thicker ones that you get at certain stores. So I'm just cutting a strip here. It's probably about two inches wide. I just, just cut across, kind of messy, but, and, and now we have a longer strip when, that, when I unfold it here. So now if we kind of pinch the sides like this and keep pulling, we create kind of these puckers. And I think that will look very tentacly when it's hanging off of a jellyfish hat. All right, so what I have here is the finished result of our paper mache efforts, and I am honestly impressed. So the next thing that I wanted to do with this is I would love to get this to light up because I just feel like that's super cool. I love Christmas lights. I have them all over my apartment, um, and I do have some extra ones. Woo, baby, look at this. That is super cool looking. I am so excited. Okay, this is a great color blue too, I feel like, for a jellyfish. Like, doesn't this just scream ocean? 
These are the tentacles, the finished product. So I have three of these. So if we could get somehow the, the lights hanging down with the tentacles, that would be super cool. All right, so I've got, gotten these lights here ready. Um, I decided the easiest way to do this would be to put the battery pack in my back pocket because that way it is gonna be out of the way. I'm gonna start by taping it to the back of what I decided is gonna be the back here. Um, and then we're gonna just go all of the way around the bottom edge. So I have managed to disassemble this umbrella. I am gonna put this over the lights and look at how cool it shines through. I love that this fabric is a little bit um, translucent, but not like completely see-through. So it's gonna cover up the gross hot glue bumps and where the paper mache isn't perfect. So now we need to get this guy attached to our paper mache structure underneath. So I have went ahead and I marked the, what I think is about the center of the paper mache with just a pencil. Um, and now I'm gonna use the hot glue to glue the uh, paper mache and umbrella pieces together. That will be our next step. And then we're gonna have to figure out how do we wrap it around the sides. All right, so the top side of the hat is now complete. I am so excited about how this looks. I'm loving the way the lights look through. You can hardly see the wire at all, so this is gonna be really cool. So now we have to figure out what goes on the bottom, which I really am not sure what we're gonna do, and with all this extra uh, fabric hanging off of this. So we're gonna flip it around, and I'm gonna show you here, this is what the inside looks like right now. Remember, we have that, um, that newspaper still on the inside too, so hopefully the blue fabric is gonna be good enough to cover that, because otherwise that's gonna be showing through. I have to figure out how am I going to get these like through to the other side so that they're hanging the right way. We're gonna make like little slits. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that now. Okay, that is looking great. Look, oh, we got it, we got it through. Okay, great, one done, three to go, right? So I managed to feed all the arms out through the little slits I made that were great. Um, and then I was just thinking like, wow, this is going to be really uncomfortable, especially if it's not a perfect fit on my head. So we need to find some way to fill up the extra space in here. I found these little fleece squares. They're just fleece fabric. The other thing I found is bubble wrap. So I thought this could be really cool and it's really lightweight too, which is really nice. So I'm just going to put a nice lot of hot glue in there. This is where I'm at right now. I have been working on stuffing this blue fabric in the inside of the hat. I'm really trying to fold like nice pleats and, and you know, give it a really nice gathered look. I'm just gonna use this, which is a um, lid to a yogurt container, just to kind of clamp down everything because I'm having a really hard time getting in there with the glue gun and not accidentally getting stuck to like everything else in the inside. Right, and that is what it's looking like now. So you can see how I use that um, plastic disc thing to kind of just keep everything in place. All right guys, so the arms of the jellyfish are complete. That is what this part is called. And they have also tentacles. So I was thinking, okay, what can we use to make the tentacles? I had almost thrown this out the other day, but I decided to keep it. It's kind of a funny thing that we're gonna end up using, but I actually really like the colors for this too. This is a phone charger. I already cut off the USB and the micro USB ends. We're gonna cut it up into four pieces. I do really like the wire in the inside of this too, because I think it gives it a nice kind of weighted quality, which it just looks good. It, it gives it the right movement, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not too concerned about these being all the same length or not because I feel like it looks more natural if they're not perfectly the same length. So let's cut them a little bit uneven. For the ends, I'm gonna put a pony bead. They fit perfectly. This will keep the end from fraying too much. 
and also just give her a cute little look. So these are just clear beads. They do glow in the dark, which is pretty cool too, which is probably another reason I wanted to use them, let's be honest. To attach them, I'm gonna tuck them into the folds of the inside of his hat. So something like this, um, so I don't have to cut a slit this time. All right guys, so our jellyfish is almost complete. He's looking really great, this little hat. So this is what it looks like with the tentacles. Um, and I just wanted to show you too, again, that the wire kind of gives it that quality where they're kind of, you know, bent at certain shapes and I have a little bit of ability to bend them, which I think is super cool. Um, and the wire and the tentacles that came with the Christmas lights also does that. So I, I feel like I have a lot of control over exactly how this will, you know, sort of shape around my face when I'm wearing it. And that is the top. And then let me show you the inside. And now for the funnest part, or at least the part that I've been looking forward to basically this whole time, uh, I want to decorate the top a little bit. Um, I did not realize how long the other parts of this will take, but I'm still really looking forward to doing that. All right, guys, welcome back. It is the next day and our um, hat, our jellyfish costume hat is fully dry. Uh, so I'll show you close up now the beading and the embellishments I did. So it was different beads, the glow in the dark paint that I had left over from a different project and then also silver sharpie and then you can i'll show you the tentacles up close and as well as the arms so you can see all that here is with the lights on now so we have them across going across all the arms and then of course under the hat as well All right, hey guys, it's Halloween night and I just wanted to show you my makeup look up close. Um, so I have my hair in four braids here and then with my face here, I use the uh, silver temporary tattoos and a lot of glitter cause I really don't wear a lot of glittery makeup um, and I thought this would be super fun for Halloween. So this is the finished look um, and that will go of course under the jellyfish hat. Did I scare you? Sorry, I just had to do that because it's Halloween, guys. So this is the finished look in the darkness. Um, so you can see the way the arms turned out with all the Christmas lights that we did and the hat. And I just have that battery pack for the Christmas lights tucked into the waistband of my leggings or you could put it in a, in a pocket too. And it makes it super easy to turn it off and on anytime I want. It was super comfortable to wear for my Zoom party. We made the best of Halloween. I couldn't be more happy. So with that being said, you guys, thanks so much for watching and have a happy Halloween.